lot of people use their book vouchers for other things besides books. It's just like apparel, like Howard Apparel in a bookstore, maybe a, an iPad or iPod. I'm pretty sure it's just a lot of irresponsibility on the players' behalf and maybe on the coaches, like for like uh, not making sure that their students and their players were aware of like the stipulations and the repercussions of what can happen if they mismanage their money or their book vouchers. So I think it's all around. I think you can't really blame one person or one set group, but I feel like. Uh, just bad things happen because if you're irresponsible. I feel like Howard stepping in, it, it, it shows something good, especially since you can clean up your mess before someone else does. As a college student, you have to make ends meet any way you see fit. So if the students are totally to blame, that's not what I believe. I believe whoever is involved is to blame. I mean, if it's just internally at Howard and it's not NCAA, then maybe there are some hiccups along the way within the story that I'm pretty sure if it gets to a level where NCAA has to step in, that they will. But if it's nothing big, then, you know, like I said, everyone who is involved should be, you know, held responsible, not just the students, but everyone who's involved. And if it does get to NCAA level and, you know, actions and reprimands have to be made against Howard University and the students in the athletic department, then it should be done. I just feel like it's unnecessary. It's their money, so they should be able to spend it. Either way, it's a scholarship, so either way, the money is going to them. If they need other things that are not really for books, they should be able to spend that either way. It really doesn't have nothing to do with their performance on the court, their performance in their academic, 